All right, let's do the weekly charts. All right, so this is the yield curve. And I mentioned this earlier that the yield curve has pulled back measurably. Seven bips, pretty good move for the yield curve. You know, I look at this in a different way. Okay, so the the, the fact that we're that we're it's so, it's so messed up. The fact that we are rallying the stock market on a yield curve which is pulling back, which is indicative of recessionary conditions in the economy, is mind blowing. So. Yeah, you, know, you think about it for a moment. What we do here is kind of sick and perverse. You know, I'm looking for this to uninvert because I know that when it uninverts, equities are going to go wild to the downside, just like they did last week. What happened last week? Monthly chart. Let's take a look. People think that this is mumbo jumbo. It's not. Look at this now. Monthly chart of the yield curve, almost a reversal bar. But last week, we almost uninverted. Tell me the Federal Reserve didn't come in here and do some yield curve control. So, you know, I look at this and I look at the charts and I say to myself, self, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to ignore what you've been preaching? You know, if you're not steepening anymore and you're beginning to pull back well, and the train is leaving the station to the long side, well, then maybe you, st- you need to lighten up on the shorts and add to your longs until such time as Conditions come become right for us to reshort the market and make uh, long profits real. So that's the yield curve. Right now, it's saying risk on. Green light, buy equities. CRB commodity index. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think this is a bad thing. This is really, really bad. I mean, how do I put this? The U.S. debt levels are a fire. And 